Hey everybody, it's Rose. Sunday evening, right around 6 o'clock. And I mowed today, finished the mowing. And I thought I would do the very last garden update for the season of 2020. Not much is left. I'm going to be pulling some of it. Probably sometime this week in the evenings, but I wanted to show you what I have left. Um, first of all, the lemon balm has come back with a vengeance. It looks gorgeous. I don't think it's looked as good all season. It's all pretty and bushy. And the last of the zinnias are the purple prints and the, I think it's called exquisite that I planted in the raised bed. I don't know if you'll recall, but these were all just one single stem, little teeny tiny things at the beginning of the season. And now they're these huge things. Just beautiful, just gorgeous. I am really loving the color of this exquisite. It's a good name for this one. They're just beautiful. Just hot pink. This is what they look like when they're just opened up. And they're just gorgeous. And we have some just getting ready to open. And the purple print is pretty too. It doesn't stay pretty as it fades. But the newer ones are very, very pretty. So I'm really, really happy with these zinnias, especially since the ones up front petered out on me real quick. And there's nothing left in this box. And, oh, I'll go over here. Those are my four o'clocks. These were here when I got here. And I think I've posted about them on my Facebook page. Um, I'm not liking them. They look kind of weedy. So I think these are going to get pulled. Alright, we'll go swinging around here. Come up through... We'll come around this side here. This is what's left of the tomatoes. And it's just a jungle. I haven't really done much with them. So they've just kind of done their own thing. And the um, basil is all gone to flower. Bees love it really a lot. A lot. I have flowers on my tomatoes still. But I think I'm going to be pulling these because they're just not producing anything really. I mean, this one's kind of interesting. And I did this on purpose, let it grow on purpose. This is called cat facing. And it's what happens when two flowers fuses into one. And it creates this big monster tomato. And that's called cat facing. Um, a lot of fruit, but they're all staying small. And many of them predominantly have... Um, a blossom end rod on them and I've given them calcium and they're still that way so I think it's just that they're just about done they're not really I mean that's not that very big those aren't very big not at all they're not really worth anything so that's those 
And from the last storm, you can see that it blew some of my tomatoes over. And I just said, meh, I'm leaving it. And I'm going to pull them when I can. Over here is the last of the um, Mexican sunflowers. I don't have anything really blooming, just leftovers. There's one getting ready to bloom right here. Oops, there we go. And then my asparagus never really did get tall. It's still hanging in there, but it was supposed to get tall and it never did. So I'm curious, curious to see if it'll make it through the winter. And if it does, how it does next spring. That's the Mexican petunias, or Mexican sunflowers, I'm sorry. And then over here is more tomatoes. See that on there? That's blossom and rot. And then my dwarf, dwarf Greek um, basil's also gone to seed, gone to flower. So, I think the tomatoes are going to get pulled this week if I have time after work. Pretty sure. And then over here we have some peppers left. Not a lot, but a little. And with this colder weather, they're doing better. Oh, there's one there. Let's see if I can get a better shot. These are the corbachis. Here's another one. So I've got some corbachis coming up. And these are the paprika peppers, and I still have loads of them on here. Loads of flowers, loads of peppers, and a couple, there's a couple of um, ripe ones there that need to be picked. Loads and loads of peppers. So we'll leave them. I'm not sure. We've got about a month, little, um, if things work out okay, we have a little over a month and a half left before our first frost, which is like mid-November, but who knows, it's 2020, anything can happen. These are the bell peppers. They never really did any anything really. They're looking healthy, but... I don't think maybe I got more than two peppers off of these plants. So next year I hope to have a better pepper um, crop. Anyway, the only other thing that's left are the things over here. And they're not, they're not anything to write home about. My sage is looking fairly good. Fairly good. Blackberries look horrible really bad I don't even know if they're gonna make it I need to get them in the ground I just haven't decided where I'm gonna do it and the blueberries are looking worse they lost all their leaves I think a bug got to them all their leaves are stripped so I don't know if those will make it either but anyway that's the garden, or what's left of it, of 2020.